Right, Robin Thicke, give it to you, featuring Kendrick Lamar and Two Chains. That's right, and probably some other people as well. Uh, but <laughs> before we go to another track, we have a special guest. So, special guest, what is your name, and what are you doing here? Hello there, Andy. Um, my name's Lauren Penny, and I'm here today to talk about We Are Good. Ah, and what is We Are Good? We Are Good um, is an advertising agency with a unique difference. Ooh. We use our creative skills to do good. <laughs> um, we like to think ourselves as the uh, superheroes of the advertising industry. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. So now, superheroes of the advertising uh, industry, I'm already imagining uh, <laughs> you sit around somewhere doing your advertising, but you do it in some sort of spandex costume <laughs> uh, with... I don't know. With, you know, and, and a bat symbol. There's a cave somewhere with all your electronics in. I assume, you, does that mean that you do it? It doesn't mean you do it in costume. I mean, I assume it means that you do it in a very good way. I yes, assume. it yeah. does mean right, that. Yeah. Unfortunately, your, your way sounds a lot more interesting. Yeah. Maybe we should try <laughs> I it. should be in advertising. Yeah, is, Maybe right I should there. redecorate the office and get some <laughs> costumes ready. <right. laughs> so, f- what, so what is di- specifically, what is kind of different between you guys and, say, I don't know, an advertising, uh, a, a normal advertising agency? Not, not, not that you guys are abnormal, <laughs> but you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, well, we do like to think ourselves as different. Oh, right, it's always yeah. good to be different, <laughs> right? Um, basically, um, we only work with ethical clients. Right. And um, we define those as kind of those who um, produce high-quality, well-crafted um, products mm. and services. And they also have quite high moral standards themselves. Mm. Um, examples we might use are kind of charities or those that kind of work yeah. in the organic kind of fair trade sector. Mm. Um, but kind of the ethical marketplace is quite tainted and um, a lot of people think you know um that it kind of has this hippie kind of notion attached to it and we kind of like to kind of bring a lot of creative flair and kind of interest we think that the ethical marketplace is actually quite cool now and it's quite mainstream and we like to kind of use our creative skills to kind of get that message out there to the marketplace right then i see okay i'll tell you what we're going to go to a song we're going to, go to ellie golding and how long will i love you and, uh, and then we will be back to hear more about ethical advertising. Keep it locked, everyone. Knowledge. Right then. Okay, so uh, we are talking to the good people of We Are Good. What is it? We Are Good Creative Agency? What is it? We're called We Are Good. We are good. Is that just the We Are Good? Is yes. Just it? Right. Okay. We Are Good. So where did that come from? Where did, where did the, the We Are Good company, as it were, what gave you the idea for it? Well, there's two reasons, really. Um, Mm. I kind of worked in London for a while with all the big shot advertising agencies, worked on all the dream briefs (laughs) that you want to work on, (laughs) ranging from, like, McLaren to EasyJet. Really? Yep. (laughs) And I gave it all up to set up We Are Good. Um, One of the reasons... One of the reasons for that was um, there's a kind of, although there's a lot of good stuff coming out of the advertising industry, there's Mm. kind of a lot of immoral stuff, too. Uh. And... um, Basically, a lot of people and companies um, and designers, um, designers don't think about the companies that they're pushing. Mm. For example, maybe um, a company that you might advertise for kind of pushes um, clothes that are kind of, you know, pushed in companies where the kind of workers are being paid pittance. Yeah. Um, um, and basically, I kind of had the idea that, you know, advertising and creativity in itself is a very powerful tool. And, um, you know, it can inspire movements, you know, um, it can um, encourage innovation. And there's a lot more good things that can be done with advertising. Um, there's advertising agencies that are um, do kind of one-off kind of work for charities and stuff. And I thought, what if there was kind of one place that was doing this good work all the time? And that's where I had um, the idea for We Are Good. Um, whilst I was kind of brainstorming the idea for how it might work, um, an agency like that, um, I came across this book um, called Do Good um, by David Berman. And there was, a pretty, there was a particular paragraph in there that grabbed my attention. Yeah. Um, and in that paragraph, um, Berman talks about um, a, a country called Tanzania. Now, Tanzania um, battles kind of poverty um, and epic malaria on kind of an everyday basis. Um, but one of the big things over there is that it's for such a kind of poverty stricken place. Um, it's heavily branded with Coca-Cola advertising. It's kind of on street corners and shops and everything. Um, but one of the, there was one particular sentence that stood out. And um, there Berman says that, um, as I mentioned, um, Tanzania battles with malaria. Now, over in Tanzania, a bottle of Coca-Cola is the same price as an anti-malaria tablet. Hmm. And that got me thinking, what if the designers had kind of so heavily pushed Coca-Cola over there and put the branding everywhere, had instead pushed these anti-malaria tablets, which were the same price as Coca-Cola. 
And um, on a bigger scale, that got me thinking, what if designers use their talents to kind of push, you know, other good companies on a bigger level? And that's where the idea for We Are Good came about, mainly. Right. Okay. So what have you what have you worked on recently? So what kind of what kind of thing have you been pushing? Um, recently, um, we've worked with the Resolve Charity. Mm-hmm. Um, they're based in Stone High Street. We actually share our offices with them as well, ah. um, which is quite nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's worked out handy. Um, we work for them, and they prevent help people with the prevention of solvent abuse and things like that. Okay. We've also worked for another local company, um, which is called the Gingerbread Centre. They've been really interesting to work with because they're not afraid to kind of push their boat in terms of creativity and kind of do things a little bit differently. A lot of charities use kind of the shock technique in advertising and we think that you can be a lot more creative to try and get more um, attention. You don't have to kind of be really emotional and really upset people. There's kind of other interesting ways to kind of get the name out there. Um, We've worked with Young Crumbs, which is a little bit different to the charity sector that we work with. Um, they're a baking company and they use only organic kind of fair trade locally sourced products to make their cakes and unique yeah. creations um, and that's it so far we've only been launched for a month so we're kind of looking for new clients every single day to kind of advertise their good products for well <laughs> considering you've only been going a month you know you've had three three companies come to you already it seems like you're doing all right Tell you what, what we're going to do is we're going to go to oh, adverts and then we will be back to find out how you can get involved and get in touch with We Are Good. Keep it locked, everyone. But, <laughs> okay, so if I was a company in the local area or indeed anywhere in the world, uh, how, could I, how could I get in touch with you guys? How could I, how could I get in touch with We Are Good? Well, to find out more information about us, we, mm-hmm. are, we have a website. That's www.wearegoodcreatives.com. We're down with the cool kids and we're on all social media. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> nice. Um, on Twitter and Facebook, you can find us under We Are Good Agency. And yeah. we're also on Instagram as well. Ooh. We like our filters on there. Ooh. Liking the filters. <laughs> <laughs> um, are you one of those are you one of those companies that uh, you know all of your all the pictures that come out uh, you know are quite poignant and mean things and it's very nice and very simple or are you one of those companies that will blast your Instagram feed with masses of random photos <laughs> this is what I had for lunch isn't pizza lovely yeah. look at it in that lovely little filter <laughs> Is that, I mean, I, I, you know, I hope you use Instagram only for good. No, of course we do. <laughs> <laughs> only for good. <laughs> nice. Yeah, we like to have a kind of an inside look on the agency. So we do Cracking. a lot of kind of cool pictures about kind of pitches and stuff that we're working on. Mm. And we, it's a lot about us as well and kind of behind closed doors, what we kind of get up to and things as well. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, could possibly that go sounds wrong. bad yeah. now. <laughs> <laughs> just reheard him. Yeah. <laughs> and people can also email us as well if they want to. That's um, info at wearegoodcreatives.com as well. So what kind of thing? So what? And of course they can visit us. They ca- where they are you? Where us. are your offices? <laughs> um, um, we are on um, Stone High Street and we're down a little alleyway called Aidy's Alley. Okay. Have you got a big sign outside? You yeah, we have a you? cool little sign outside as well. Okay. So what kind of, say, I don't know, say I had a company and I rocked up to your offices in Stone. Uh, what what kind of thing could you guys offer offer me? Well, technically we're branded as an integrated advertising Ooh. agency in Liverpool Park. <laughs> <laughs> that means that we offer um, traditional advertising, such as anything like TV adverts. Um, really? We can do radio adverts as well and Ooh. press adverts for newspaper. Um, all the way through to digital, so we do loads of cool stuff like application design, like apps um, and websites, and we can do social media accounts and run those for companies as well. Wow. Um, we can do graphic design as well, so anything like leaflets, um, posters, flyers, we can do all that stuff, banners. Um, and we also are hands-on and can do kind of events and organise those as well. Have you... Uh so when you were so when you've been you've been running your company you've been working you're doing things for people uh so say i don't know say i wanted an event how big could you make it i mean i don't know say if you say could you uh could you organize a massive event a huge event huge. i mean how big does your company go 
Well, um, recently we've been focusing on kind of local companies um, and we're still going to keep with that because we kind of like to keep a very kind of community kind of feel to the business. Ah, Um, But we're very much um, pushing to go into kind of bigger national clients Mm. next year. Um, Are you listening, (laughs) Coca-Cola? Yes. No, not Coca Cola. No, no. <laughs> Microsoft? No? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, Innocent no. Smoothies. Oh, that'll do. Like. Yeah, done. So there you go. You're listening to Innocent Smoothies. <laughs> um. <laughs> Um, we can do a big, um, quite a unique thing and different thing about us is um, we kind of, um, all the people that work for us are kind of on a freelance basis. So we have um, staff all up and down the country that work for us, mm. um, which means when someone comes to us and say that they want something, we're not kind of just reduced to the amount of people that we've got in the room. Yeah. We can get kind of pretty much anything that people want. You know, we can do kind of quite a small promotion to kind of a massive thing with like flashing lights. <laughs> 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 Get me my flashing light, man. <laughs> yes. All right. Good work. Well, it seems it seems like you've got everything locked in. Yeah. Um, you know, you've you've not you've not been open very long. You've already got a couple of cl- well, quite a few clients, and so you know, well done. It seems like you know what you're doing. Uh, well, thank you very much for coming down to no, see us. Thank you. Um, I mean, is there anything anything you'd like to promote? Let's go through your let's go through your um, your various ways to contact your company again. Okay. Uh, for the for the listeners, just in case they miss them. <laughs> so our website is www.weallgoodcreatives.com. Yep. You can find us on Facebook and Twitter under We Are Good Agency, and um, you can all, and Instagram yeah. as well. <laughs> <laughs> And people can visit us in our office, um, Stone High Street, down the fabulous 80s alley. There you go. So if you'd like a local company to do your uh, to do your advertising, and it's a local company, so you're supporting the community people. And we, we have should fair, always do tri- that. fair <gasps> prices with being an ethical agency There as you well. go. There you go. And you can be assured that it's done ethically and fair trade and all that. And which, let's face it, is very good at the moment. They like that kind of thing. So, ladies and gentlemen, get yourself down to the We Are Good creative agency. Uh, and they can help you out. Thank you for joining no, us today. No, thank you, Andy. Thanks for having us It on. is an it's been absolute a pleasure. If you are doing anything in the future, get yourself down here and we will plug the hell out of it for thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> right then, we are going to One Republic and Counting Stars. Yes. Keep it locked. Tune. <laughs> Tune. <laughs> <laughs>